Now, we've got a sporty themed edition of Swipe this week as we look at the impact of technology on big sporting events from Wimbledon to the World Cup. Joining us in the studio is tech expert Julia Hardy. Hello. Good morning to Hi you. Then. Now, first week of Wimbledon. Yes. Uh, what kind of technology are we seeing in this, this tournament? So, um, what's, it's, first of all, I have to say, they've, they've been really pushing social media this year, which sort of feels a bit like it's kind of a bit 10 years late. And they're like, oh, we're going to have like hashtags and, you know, <laughs> people can like tweet questions and stuff. Admittedly, this is not on the court. I think they're very mindful of not making it too much like American sport at the moment with too much, you know, going on. But I don't want Henry. people tweeting from centre court <gasps> too. That wouldn't be the dumb thing, well, surely. I think you can, but they're just not going to have big screens oh, okay. saying what's going on. But uh, up on Henman Hill, obviously, they're kind of, you know, they're tweeting pictures, photos. It's not Henman Hill questions. anymore. Is it not? No, I think it's Murray, Murray Mount, Mount now. Yeah. I, I, was not, I did not receive this memo about the grassy knoll having its name changed. Um, but then I suppose the most interesting thing is Slam Tracker, which isn't new, new, but they've kind of upgraded it and make it a bit more interesting. So this is in partnership with IBM, who I think have been you know, working with them since about 1990. So obviously you've got like your basic tech that they use, but this is just See, ridiculous. I'm already turned off. I'm totally turned off. It's that to me is taking the heart out of the game and it just looks boring. I'm sorry. But you see, people who like sports, this is what I'm told. People, people who, who like, like sports stats. like stats, right? Mm -hmm. And this is oh, real no. time stats. So you can actually have this up on the screen as you watch it and it will tell you uh, like point by point what's going on, um, the statistics. It basically uses something like 41 million different data uh, to, to analyze uh, eight years worth of stats uh, they kind of I think they sort of compare themselves like uh, their previous versions when they've won like what kind of variables were involved in that and then how it compares to how they're playing now but it's gonna be like crazy like American sport and everyone's gonna bring up all these things from like years ago and don't Just you remember the on game. point four of the watch thing. Watch the tennis! Watch the tennis! <laughs> it's for I the real tennis geeks this. isn't it for yeah. those who be on the analyze the statistics. It's interesting, but then I do remember hearing one time about how tennis coaches would somehow try and teach people how to spin, you know, curve the ball the way mm. it like spins. Yeah. And actually, it's not really like a thing that you can teach, you just sort of do it. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, sometimes when you break something down so much. Is that, that app going to no, teach no, you how no, to no. Spin? No, it's so not going to spin. No, no, no not at all. But what's, what's <laughs> interesting useful. is that um, what, what IBM are basically trying to do is to show how they can take all of this data and give real time ana uh, analysis and, you know, change it and sort of, you know, create uh, theories live, which is interesting. People like theories, people mm. like stats, people like being right. Is I'm it, not is convinced. It stuff? Information overload, I'm though, is it? Convinced. If you're trying to watch the match, analyse the Just stats the as well. Game. Watch the game. What other cutting-edge <laughs> technology have we seen in the world of... Tennis. Oh, well, uh, well, this is this is probably the most intensive thing, I think, really. Um, but the other thing we uh, that was recently was uh, the Australian Open. So the, it was IBM again, they were doing this thing called return serve where they were analysing, you know, from different camera points what effectively like a pro serve is like. And then they were creating a virtual version of it. And then at the event, they were hooking up to Oculus Rift. You know the thing I've made Stephen do in front yes. of the, where yes. he sort of looks a bit weird? Screen, yeah. Yes, that. Uh, they hooked it up to Oculus Rift and then you could effectively return a serve against one of the pros. Oh, wow. So what's actually really fascinating about that is it's creating this kind of AI version of a pro a little bit. So you can, you know, they say basically you're only, you're only as good as the person you play. So imagine theoretically you could play against some of the best in the world and up your game. So the future implications of that are quite exciting. Well, it could be completely demoralising because you've missed <laughs> just a single shot. I'm, I'm beyond terrible. Yeah. I'm, I'm not as terrible. good as the person I'm I play against. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so that's quite interesting. Yeah, now, yeah. we might be out of World Cup. Yes. But uh, what can football fans get their hands on? What are they using? So I was looking at a lot of different... I'm not a huge sports person, you might know. But um, I was looking at different apps, and there's a lot of different apps that are out at the moment, but I think most people are kind of a little bit... Are people still watching the World Cup now that England's not? I don't know. Yeah? Yeah? Are they? Yeah, okay, they're right. other teams. We're okay. adopting other teams. <laughs> USA this morning, isn't it? <laughs> Go Nigeria, that's what I say. <laughs> so um, this is called Matchpine, and it's actually a really cool little app. So you basically sign up. I don't think the iPad's working, of course, because, you know, we're, on live, on, live we're, we're, we're on live TV. Why would it? <laughs> um, so basically what you can do is you can go, you can sign in, you choose your teams or the particular sports that you like uh, and tell it what you like and then it will tell you all the local bars and pubs that are showing it. So you can then, you know, go onto Facebook and Twitter and, like, invite your friends to meet you at the pub and have a drink whilst you watch some sport. Actually, do you know what? That's <laughs> quite useful because so many times games are on and people are like, oh, no, we're showing it. Do you know we're showing it? So I actually think that's quite oh, useful. Okay. This is actually really cool. 
caught Nick, I think, in set up alerts as well about stuff that's going on. Mm. So, you know, if you want to sort of drink and do sport, I quite like that. So watch someone Drinking else sweat and, doing sport. and then you uh, re relax. relax. <laughs> it's the social side of the yeah. game. Yeah, right. OK, so we, we like one, but I don't like this. Tennis stats, definitely not. <laughs> Julia, thank you very much. Thanks, uh, let's see what's happening with the weather now.